All right, so we're back. Back to the tropics. And we are immediately back where we once were. Let's see what we can get done here. So hopefully I have retained enough of my memory to be able to make it through the first part of this dungeon. Yeah, so... We had a little bit of trouble with this one. We got pretty close to the end. But not close enough. Okay, yeah, you want to dodge the ghost there. <laughs> right, the mummies, the mummies. Oh! Oh! Never, never like the mummies. Nobody likes the mummies. I mean, when's the last time you've seen a mummy and have it be a good thing? Like, really? When's the last mummy? Oh. Jazz and cave music. You bet it is. Hello, Mario Panic. Welcome to the stream. Dealing with the hopping skulls is a process. Get up. Get, get. Consarn it. Consarn it, Billy. Forget, did any of these block? Yeah. There were indeed secrets. Secrets abound, in fact. But I remember what to do. Roughly. It's just that this cave is very long. Anything on these I forget, no. But we're almost back to full health, which is good. I enjoy being about at full health. Almost as much as I enjoy being at full health. A scoot. It is the obligatory scooting time. I can't help but think if I played this game when I was younger, the dead, the dead end room would have scared me for some reason. Well, usually, usually it's played when you have found a good thing. So I don't know, maybe you would have been sort of given a Pavlov association. Where you're like, okay, this music means that I, uh, I found the good thing. Ow. Which makes me wonder why they play it in those rooms, because you have very definitely not found a good thing in those rooms. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta go over to this one. This one. Okay, and here's the spitting room. <laughs> you just gotta walk around the whole room. Okay. 
Okay, now for the detour. To get the lantern. Just mash the button, just give it a give it a solid whacking. A solid thrash. It's it's in here. Just run over, grab that skull. Irrelevant. Irrelevant to my interests. Gonna take out. Oh, oh. I was gonna take out that mummy because that mummy has caused me very many issues in the past, and he wasn't about to stop now apparently. <laughs> Okay, we're doing well. Okay, Zahandu. Not a, not a fan. Oh, oh God. For pretty much these reasons. I forget, did, uh, did any of these side rooms lead to anything good? Any, like, health refills over there? Well, I got a star out of it, at least. I mean, I guess the hands aren't that bad if you're willing to be patient. The question is, am I? Am I willing to be patient? The answer is usually no. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. So the real answer is just go up this way. Deal with the devil dog. They're just skeletons, they're not really particularly demonic. No, 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 no. Okay, here's some help. Reveal the specter. Get the specter deflector. Hydrate self. Oh, thank you. That is very helpful to me. Okay, just gotta take care of the whiz robes. It's a process, but it's a process worth undertaking. Oh yeah, 
that's right, the, the super mummy room. I'd like that star, please, but I don't think I'm gonna get- nope. Would've gotten a health bonus if I had gotten it. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. Let's go this way. Oh yes, thank you. This man can kill anyone with his yo-yo insane dude right here. It is a rather impressive skill to have. Yeah, Star Tropics has been compared many times to the Mother series. And not without good reason. But now there's a big ghost. So you gotta get the, the clackers and throw them at the, the big ghost. He does not like to get in the way of your projectiles. I can't say I blame him. There we go. So do you need the lantern to fight this boss? Nah, just the uh, magic wand to reveal him. And, it, and then, uh, of course, as you saw, the game gives you one immediately beforehand. Of course, I suppose you can waste it. Thus rendering the boss unfightable, but why would you do that? Why would you use your wand with no conceivable benefit? Wow, you've done it! Look, the pond has dried up. Yes, I saw that. Got the crystal ball. Okay, so now we can go back to the castle. Oh my goodness, you have my crystal ball. Please give it back to me. You give it back to her. 
I'm back in business, thank you. You want to enter Shikola, don't you? I know just what we need to do. Okay, wait, will you? You sure look silly dressed up like a girl, but it may work. By the way, let me read your fortune. Oh, in the crystal ball, I can foresee risking life and limb, a bridge over troubled water, struggling to escape. Oh, some evil mystic powers from a star far, far away. I'm sure those powers are controlling the monsters in the dark below. Oh, omens of disaster. I can't continue. Oh me, oh my. Fortune favors the brave, so don't mind me. Now let's enter Shikola. You must be from Radicola. You may enter. So this seems this seems a little familiar to a certain game that was released on the Switch, I think. Never, probably never heard of it. So I won't even bother saying what it's called. I am Queen Shikola. I hear a fight occurred at the ghost village. You've beaten all the ghosts at the haunted village? Oh, you're a super girl. What is your name? You respond, Michael M Michelle. Michelle is my name. Michelle, good name. I like you. Why don't you join us? You say you must visit a mountain hermit? We will miss you. You'll save time if you talk to our head warrior first, okay? By the way, Michelle, your voice is strong, like a man's. Hmm. You cough. Oh, I see. You have a cold. Michelle, you have a funny yo-yo, don't you? I'll give you a powerful weapon called Shooting Star. Yeah, so we now have an upgrade to the yo-yo. You need more, but you need more than six red hearts to use it. Goodbye, Michelle. Yeah, so we just get a mace. They are busy training. Shout abracadabra and jump ten times at the tunnel end. Okay. Should I shout outside the church? Okay, so we have returned to boy. And now we have an upgraded weapon and a means to get where we must go. Oh, seizure warning, God. And now we get to try it. Yeah, so we get a little little projectile on the end of it. Very useful. So we want to keep our health up whenever possible. Not that we didn't want to do that before, but now we especially do. So the game's just kind of given us an opportunity to try it out. Okay, we're doing good, and that's it. That's it for that cave. Wow, you've done it! Just a tiny bit of points. Just a little points. Just a little baby points. So we definitely want to, you know... Oh, that's how you get through there. You definitely want to hump all the rocks. Just, uh, just to see where, where we can get through. There's 
little house here. What's going on here? I'm Poe, the famous poet of Southern Ireland. I don't know why I said it so weird. Like my poems? Raindrops from heavens, fountains spring from earth, lifting my spirits high. Okay, so, if I'm not mistaken, this is the last dungeon of this chapter. Oh. I don't want to take damage. Damage. Okay, what's going on here? There's some spookies in here, I'll tell you that much. A couple of them. So, those blocks are just inaccessible. Oh no. It's the dodo bird. Oh, but now I am... I am better equipped, and now I am not anymore. <laughs> I've lost my powers. So these blocks drop down after I jump on them. So yeah, I don't want to stay in one place. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's... That's kind of a leap of faith, but... There's a hint. There's a, at least a hint. Oh, we're going down. Now we're in the fire zone again. Oh, it's a Kappa! God, it's that guy. Apparently taken care of. There's nothing over here. You'd think there'd be something over there. There's not. Bro. And what's this? What's with this Japanese folklore doing in our American game? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Though I guess it was still developed by a Japanese guy. Well, that didn't work out so good. Yeah, you're supposed to go here and then grab it. That was way ballsier than was reasonable. <laughs> Dang it, not again. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, okay, you can just kind of stall. You can just kind of stall on them. Yes, very, very useful, thank you.
crap. Crap! I'm out. I'm out of here. Ugh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the eyeball. Oh, okay, only one must die. The emptiness of this room, yeah. I was about to say. In fact, I was already saying. I was in the middle of saying. Oh, God. It's the, the, the orc. I guess. I guess that's what you are. Okay, so this is kind of a maze. This, however, shows you where you need to go. Roughly. So I believe... I believe we want to go to the right here. Defeat yet another one of these orc things. Uh, what have you missed? Uh, not too much, I don't think. Now, here's the room where you want to be, and I think you want to, like, do this. Yeah, you miss Japanese folklore. Wow, you've done it! So, fun fact about this guy. He actually has a sprite for facing upwards. But, however, it's never used because when I go here, he's facing down. And I can only talk to him from the right. So, his upward facing sprite is never used. Came very far in such of my spell. Oh, you are fantastic. There's a cat outside my window. Y'all hear that? There's a cat out my, outside my window. Clawing at my window. I'll give you the scroll of Obob. Don't mention it. Hurry and save the girl. I'm being chased by Red. Tired and out of breath, you arrive at Miracola. Mike, please read the scroll and wake Bananette. Bebob, Bobob, Uma, Uma, Obob. Be be bob bo bob uma uma o oh bob get up o oh bob uma uma o oh bob wake up wake my bananet be bob bo bob uh, do not watch this if you have seizure bob uma uma o oh bob be bob be bo bob uma uma o oh bob get up yeah wow it's a miracola bananet daddy's here. <sighs> Good morning, Daddy. I sure slept well. <sighs> I'm hungry. Is dessert ready? Bananette, put down that banana cream pie. Bananette, you, you see, because she's fat. Mike will never forget your kindness. You say you must go? Oh yes, to rescue your uncle. I've ordered the repair of your ship. Let's go. Now I've come here, Captain. I have been waiting for you to return. Subsea is ready to launch. All ahead, full.
Philip C. is cruising on the ocean. A small island appears on the horizon. I'm a fisherman. I've missed a big one, as big as a whale. My daddy is a fisherman. I know, he just told me. I'll become a good fisherman like my daddy. Yes, we get it. He's a, he's a good fisherman. He's quite the fisherman. I'm a fisherman. Welcome to Tuna Kula. Is it just me or does the game have a smile teal tint? I don't think so. I don't know. I think it just chooses weird colors for the, the skin and stuff. Have you ever heard of the, the Raw Fish Eater's Island Sushi Cola? Ah, yes. Hi, my name is Bait. Today I met a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you. I bet he's still rowing his raft on the East Ocean. that you mention it, it, it does look a little bit like that. I wonder if that's the NES or what. Hmm. Hmm. No, that's not doing anything. me or is it getting worse? Yeah, it looks a little... It looks a little faded out. Let me try restarting the OSSC. And reloading the profile, maybe. Don't worry, NES is still running. Yeah, it seems, seems a little strange. I'm just attempting here. Well, now everything's too green. <laughs> It seems to be... Uh, 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 uh. No, let's reload. Just to check, I'm gonna restart the NES. I'm just gonna, just to be on the safe side, because now it's, now it's concerning me. Let, let me try flipping the pallet switch back here. I don't know, now I can't tell. And 
No, it's gonna bother me. Let me let me see if there's anything else I can try tweaking. No, I mean, that's fine. Might not be anything I can do about it, though. Let me make sure my cables are all... Oh, wait. I saw something. I mean, it looks, I think it looks better now. I hope I don't have to send those back though, but if I do, I do. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Let's just uh, reload so that we don't lose any time. What was that? Oh no! Oh, we are in the fish whale. Wow, Mike, it's me, Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Do you remember me? At last I found you, but did we have to meet in the belly of this whale? Mike, I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I did not tell you because it, I was afraid it was returned for me. The Southern Cross gave me courage and strength to find you. I'm sorry I was scared, but now I must help. Find a way out of this fish with bad taste. Well, let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It was in my pocket. Pocket? Shoot, I lost it when I was swallowed. It must be around here. Let's find it. And by us, you mean me. Now I can't help but stare at the whites. I don't know. It did get blue again. I think my NES cable might be jank. God, of all the things. And there's the lighter. Yeah, so this is the only chapter in the game, I think, without any dungeons. I'm not going to be jumping on blocks. So I think we do need the sub C. Now, where do I go? I guess this part is nothing.
Note, if your innards look like this, consult the doctor immediately. All right, I got the lighter. Now I must return to Babu. This music will drive you insane, man. So that's, a, that's just a shortcut back. Just a shortcut back. My kelp, I got smoke in my eyes. Getting smokier. Ah, ah. Nothing like a good cigarette, eh, Bon? Ooh, we made it. I promise never to smoke again. Okay, Mike, I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? Yes. Dr. J has been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Please help Dr. J. Now I've come here, Captain. Input frequency. Okay, so... Famously... This is the part where you have to dip the letter in water in order to get the code he's asking for. You know, one of them old anti-piracy measures, I suppose. So the question is, I have the letter here, should we christen it? Should we do the thing? How easier would it be? Look, man, it's 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 a mixture between the or it's a battle between ease and novelty. Like for preservation's sake. Okay. All right. Well, here, here, I'll, I'll do I'll do something for you. Hold on. Oh wow, we 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 got the code.
Aye, aye, Captain. Frequency tracking system set for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Top C is ready to launch. All ahead to full. Sub C is searching for Dr. Jones' location, but the strait is blocked. Welcome to Bell Cola. Want to be a hero like Captain Bell? So are we like halfway through the game? I'd say a little slightly over halfway. Don't you know the story of our island father, the British Captain Bell? Not my papa dummy, he's our island father. I am the second oldest in all the islands, 128 years. Good for you. I get up early to fish. The early bird catches the worm, you know. Don't talk to me about fishing. Let me tell you, I just was out of place. Who are you? Stay away. Rude. Welcome to Bell Cola. Yeah. It's impossible to car cross the strait now. Hi, I'm a great songwriter. Do you like my song? Me so, my bell, me so. So we're doing that kind of puzzle again. <laughs> As if Mario RPG was not enough. I get a. Uh, yeah, I already talked to you. And you still won't let me in, right? Oh, you're from. So again? You made me do it again. <laughs> Mike, I'm Chief Bell Cola. I got a letter from Sea Island by Carrier Pigeon. Chief Corocola asked me to give you the secret of the strait, but I'm not sure. Do you promise to keep it a secret? Yes. Okay, I believe you. Listen carefully. In 1680, the British Captain Bell battled with pirates invading our islands. He blocked the strait by sacrificing his own ship, saving our islands. Since then, Captain Bell has been known as the Island Father. But he left a secret in his cave to open the strait. Mike, it's not easy to enter Bell's cave. You need the help of Peter. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Lois. This reminds me of the kid I. This reminds me of the time I helped that kid in a Bell's cave. Now come here, Captain. Now searching for Dr. J's location. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. can't just dock here. So this is probably one of the biggest puzzles in the game, but I already know how to solve it. So you want to go up here. opening a document. Hi, my name is Hook. I'm the fishing master. Do you want to know the ABCs of fishing? Okay, wake up early and find a fresh worm for bait. The island saying is, the early bird catches the worm. And fish, too. Here's a fresh worm for you. So, what you do with this... Did you get back in the subsea? You listen to Rob rattle on about about searching, and then you go back. So you go back to the main island. Wherever that is. Worms are weird. Worms are real weird. 
Oh, wait, no, we go this way, where we find a bird. Hello, Peter I am. Peter I am. No gift, no chat, no gift, no chat. You give him the worm. Yes, gift. Yes, gift. Good morning, Captain Bell. Good morning, Captain Bell. Hide, Peter, hide. Or... So, that's a hint right there. The bird is not asking you to pleasure him. So yeah, so now you have that clue. I wrote it down in a text file. In real life, you would probably write it down on a piece of paper. But uh, save the trees, use a computer. So, you gotta hump all the rocks. Do you find this spot over here? So that's the wrong way. But I feel like there's something in here. I feel like there's a secret in here. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to look for it for a second. Well, I'm not finding anything so far. Wait, maybe this is... No, wait, this is where I just was, right? Yeah. They maintain Captain Bell's memorial. Boy, don't touch anything. By the way, Peter's great-grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot, did you know? No? So... If I had to get... So... So... Do me uh, no, that was far. Do do re no do re me fa. No, no, wait, it's it's do me do me so fa. Okay, do re me. So that was not it. Okay. Do okay, do re me fa so. No? No. Just a sec, I want to look up the heart. Okay, so I 
I ended up <laughs> seeing the answer to the puzzle. It would be one, three, five, four. Oh, I must have been missing a step. No? One, three, five, four. No. <laughs> well, I'm I'm confused. Do it was do me so far do me do re me fa so yeah so fa. Uh, me. Unless it's just, unless it's just messed up. Let me leave and come back. I didn't step on the second one, did I? Okay, there we go. It was a little, it was a little funky, but we did it. Here's where the heart is. We're gonna we're gonna need that, so let's just get that. Let's do it. Oh, and it's especially clear when it fades out. Okay, nothing here, right? Nothing secrety. I don't think so. Dungeon time. There's immediately a slug. Slug's purpose uncertain. But we can go this way. For immediate life refill that I do not need. Okay, that was the load-bearing bat. Oh, oh no, I remember this. Yeah, get me out of here. The metal sphere of hurt me. Oh no, we've entered the room of Satan. Okay, let's do it. Crap. <laughs> I can't help it, I gotta gamble. Goodbye.
There's something to this. It, it's that. Oh, uh, it's the death poles. Nobody likes the death poles. Star Tropics, go to the poles. This is this room is a C, a C dash. Okay, this is a funky room and a half. Give me a right headache. It's the bowling ball. I'm bowling for mics. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Finally, some good American cup. Okay, cool, but I get a checkpoint here. Uh-oh, I think some whiz robes are incoming. Pirate whiz robes. Skeleton pirate whiz robe. You know. Just like mom used to make. Oh dear. I've come down with a case of being in mortal danger. Come down with a case of give me a health item, you hack. You hack fraud. You mean to tell me that that door down there is just nothing? This that door can't be nothing. Unless you come here from a different angle. Either way, I'm probably going to die. Does not the bat does not help me against those. But <laughs> cool room. Thank you, Star Tropic. Well, at least I can get mad heals. Heal may not actually be that good, disclaimer. But I wish it was. <clears throat> I would like to keep my mace. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Gotta do this again. Nope. 
That room makes me nervous. It gives me gas. Unfortunately, I, I can't say I agree that it's great, but uh, it, you know, it works. It gets the job done. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can actually attack the bowling ball to make it stop. So that's useful if you're in a bind. If you're way behind and you're willing to make a deal. Great! Don't do it too early. That will be your death. Okay, let's tr let's try this room again, but except this time, let's jump when we get in there. Apparently. Okay, I don't know why Mike didn't want to jump to the side there, but it gave me a miniature heart attack. Okay, this is a good room for healing though. How awesome is it that I didn't get hit by these? Well, I guess there's still a chance. Nope! Nope, I'm just awesome. Oh, now it's just regular dodos. It's time for me to make you extinct again! This is more of a challenge. Okay, so we have proven that this one is not necessary. Or is it? I don't know which one they would want you to go in. Oh no, to Mike, I didn't want him to jump off. I was trying to turn him to the left and jump, not uh, jump to the left. I guess that's kind of the thing about this game's controls. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. Star Tropics 2 actually fixes that. It uh, goes with a different control scheme, but what it fixes from the first game, it makes up for by introducing its own little uh, problems. It's a shame, really. That's a big reason why I would genuinely love to see a third game after all these years, because I, I want to see what this game... I want to see what this game would look like if they refined it just that little bit more. Charging snakes.
What it needs is a button that you can hold while moving the D-pad that only changes direction without moving. Like Cuphead, but the NES didn't have enough buttons. If there was a SNES game, it could be L or R. Exactly another reason why uh, Star Tropics 2 should have been on the Super Nintendo. But that's a whole nother rant. What I what I think would be good is if you had like a aim lock button. Like something that would let you strafe around. Or or the opposite, something that would keep you in place while being able to turn. So how do I get this? I know that there's a way to get this. Please, don't let it be stupid. I mean, unless you really are just supposed to come here from a different room, which looks possible. That's a heck of a tease, though. You gotta be, you gotta be joking me. Okay, well, here we go on the round trip in Bell's Cave. Oh, God. Okay, so here's the room of my demise. I guess the main thing you could do is jump and then change direction, which would prevent what I had just encountered. Is there any reason to kill all these bats? I don't actually know. Not really. Oh cool, the orcs are here. Luckily, these guys are so slow, they're almost not even a threat. I mean, you don't want to get too overconfident, but... The NES is almost having a hard time keeping up. I have heal, please. Okay, so we're back here now. Okay, so the door there remains open, which is interesting to me. Wait. I just realized it gave me a magic wand. So that probably means I need to reveal a ghost somewhere. And I think I know where to do it. Aw oh, man. I wanna heal. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh. And it takes me back to the bowling ball room. Beautiful. Yeah, I remember getting stuck for a while on this part of the game. Like, I think this was a brick wall my first time playing through it in full.
Unfortunately, I gotta get the magic wand back. Come, come, come back here. But, if I'm not mistaken, I should also be able to get the heal now. So, mixed bag, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So I can get the heal. But I think I know what I'm doing now. Oh dear. Okay, waste the heal. Waste it. Oh. Oh, did I, ever, did I ever tell you that I'm bad at video games? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I was killed by the dodo birds. Video games. They sure are something. Okay, get me out of here. Let's just let's just mush on through. close one. Yeah, there ain't nothing like NES explosions, except maybe Atari 2600 explosions. gotten two hearts there, but whatever. Is it worth it? And you want to have the, uh, the mace here because this is helpful for the bowling balls because you can hit them from a longer distance. A further distance away. And that's good to have, generally speaking. What you probably want to do is like, okay, so go up here. I might as well get one of the heals. I can use it. So you want to go up here and then go to the left. So you can kind of circle, circle around clockwise or counterclockwise. So now you can do that and hit this one. Oh, 
Whatever. Whatever, man. Cool. No more mace for me. I'm driving. But, I believe I know what to do, at least. Well, once I get out of the bowling ball room. Okay, so let's check in here. No. So I think it is in the next room. Well, okay, not this room. So now that I know there's no reason to kill these things, I'm going to not. Ooh, a star. I would indeed like that. Ah, uh, so there it is. Okay, so it's just the metal balls. Ah, crit. Ah, crit, crit lorsh. Okay, we're getting more floor spikes. Oh, okay. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. I think I'll pass. Please don't spawn me far back. Okay, it didn't. Oh, okay. There's a heal here, at least. Okay, and we got the the pink one. Pink one turns around. I hate this. I hate everything about this. What do I- I guess I gotta keep hitting it? This dungeon's long! This is a long dungeon! <laughs> Here we go, back to the start again! Oh yeah! Update on cat? Uh, I don't hear it anymore. Oh god. And I go the wrong way, and that's just... And that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. And I can't even go back for the heart. No. No. I wish to die. Okay, you go up and then down. Why do these things do so little damage? Please. I wish to be ended. Always go down in the splitting room. But no, in the first one you want to go up and then down. Because if you go down first, that's the wrong way. 
got to activate the switch at the top and then press it on the down. I'm pressing a switch to activate a switch, which I then activate. If that makes any sense to you, then, uh... Congratulations, you are the creator of Star Tropics. What are you for? Slugs can't just exist. And see, that's what I keep doing wrong. That's what I do keep doing completely all wrong. Call that hitting me before. Oh, that's right, I have to do that. I even sung owls to it. Well, that just shows to go you how good my memory is. Uh -huh. Just lightly tapped by the bat. That's wondrous. Mike won't go in the door. <laughs> Please go in the door. Do those rats spin around to dance to the music? I think it's just to change direction, but I could be wrong. You will spin my rat right round, right round. When you bowl in Pin Town. See, there are no pins here. Because you are the pin. Captain Bell is bowling for you. That's how you do it. There we go. Now we got a run going. Oh yeah. I'm feeling good today, Mikey. I will say, as as merciless as this du dungeon is, whenever I think about this game, the bowling balls are usually one of the first things that come into my brain. Oh! Did you see that? I was jumping while I was hurt. It's not that cool, but I think it was cool. Oh, too hard. Okay, there we go. That's that's more like it. It's all about getting these balls in a decent position. I mean, when you're a man, you're always getting them in the, the right position, and you never quite find it, but... Oh, 
Oh, I did it again. Okay, now for this part. Oh. <laughs> Face the right way. Michael. I think you have to reveal them no matter what. I, I think the ghosts are, just aren't hittable. Unless you do that. Okay, so I kind of need this. And I don't have it. Nope. sucks. Listen, man, I'm just gonna up and say it. I'm gonna up and say that this dungeon in Star Tropics is a little subpar. Dungeon's long and it's difficult. And I can handle one or the other, but not usually both. Not this time. I think your hint that this hidden floor is here, or this uh, invisible hole, is that, I guess the rat won't walk over it. I would sit there and wait to see if my hypothesis is true, but I don't care enough, so I'm just leaving. Probably like a hidden item in this room or something, but am I willing to find it? Not really. No, you stay back there. But in true NES game fashion, you notice that I get I get better and better at the earlier parts. To the point where I'm not even taking damage anymore. Now you stay over there. Mm, pardon me. 
But yeah, like the like the sword in Legend of Zelda, you pretty much want to hang on to this for as long as possible. Because it's more powerful and it's got longer range. And how could you not want to hang on to an item so powerful? Street Fighter 2010 streams win. Uh, I mean, it's not impossible. I have the game. going on for me to juggle at one time. I, and I just got hit, so I'm probably not going to get the mace. But I need the mace. I need the mace to live. I keep forgetting that one doesn't fall. No, no, I didn't. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Rocket launcher. No! I blame Metal Slug. Was the no also a Metal Slug voice? No. Oh yes, thank god, thank god. You see why I want the mace so bad? No! It didn't go far enough! <laughs> It really is that Street Fighter 2010 feeling. No wait, you can just jump that one. Saving precious time. Say except I don't know. Might as well go over here and pick up these two hearts. No sense on adventuring on an empty heart. Or even a not entirely filled heart. Yeah, I want that. I like that the Room of Satan always has those pointlessly opening doors whenever you enter it. 
Yeah. What was that shirt? <laughs> Is there a baby bird in this room somewhere? I hope not. Not a good room to be in. How dare you not get hit by that? Dustin, are you heard hoarding burp? Well, I, I think Kirby's adventure might be being filmed in next door. You know, we're using the set across from them. go for the dangerous play. No, I think that play is pretty safe. You just gotta jump immediately afterwards. That's the, that's the only trick. Oh, you mean hitting it from two blocks away? I don't know. Personally, I feel like that's more dangerous. Because that gives it more space to rebound and hit you. For my strategy, you just have to remember to jump. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm not trying to say, like, oh, you, you dummy man with your dummy strategies. I don't even have to kill these guys, but I will anyway, because it's fun. So let me get this straight. You, you killed those two men because it was funny? Yes, it was. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. made it through here without taking damage. Finally, God is real. I've been waiting. And that was quite literally the last possible thing in the game. Or the level, at least. guess not. Honestly, I, I can accept that. <laughs> I can... No, wait, that's the Pledge of Allegiance. We're, we're doing Brit British. What are you doing, Brit... Uh, uh, sip the tea. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Sorry, this game's just so American that I forgot that Captain Bell was British. Wow, you've done it! Thank God they don't make me walk back to the subsea. 
I would have not liked if they made me walk back to the subsea. I would have done it, of course, but I would not have liked it. Subsea is searching for Dr. Jones' location. Will Navcom catch his signal in time? I hope. We can only hope. Where are we going? Tree Island. Shaped like a dude or something. Oh, wait. Little, little zone. There's a house. This is actually several houses. I'm the oldest one of all the islands. 199 years, but young at heart. Here's a secret. Try looking for a big heart on an island around here. Thank you for the tip. Welcome to How Do You Do Cola. <laughs> Boy, I'm a game master. Name's po Name Poe's poem. Are you a game master? Uh, he's not actually asking me. Boy, I may have seen the same boat as yours. Ah, about a month ago. Dr. PJ's, doc, uh, DJ's, um, Dr. What do you call him? was sailing your boat, searching for a lost, uh, you, whatchamacallit, do you know? I'm the second oldest in all the islands, 188 years. Hmm, you say you've already met the second oldest? You must be mistaken. You must have bananas in your ears. I am the third oldest on all the islands, 177 years. All the old people gathering in one spot. Alert, 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 signal detected. Dr. J's location is north 49, east 28. Subsea is ready to launch, all ahead full. Okay, so it said on an island near them. Before we go east, we should probably check back west if the game will let me. I forgot where it even was. Oh, there's a there's an island down there. So does this loop or I think this might loop. I don't think I want to go here. This might be no way you kind of you kind of have to, don't you? Just in case I'm in a save estate. Because I, I kind of don't want to advance yet. Apple! I got a big apple. Delicious, but nothing happens. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Okay, I want to go into this island. I want to get the heart. Hey! Need as many of those as I can get. Yes, Napcom, I know. I know. We're gonna find him. Oh, here's an island. Oh. Who is this? Initials RC. Hmm. Rob... Rusacola. That's probably a reference that I do not understand.
Okay, so it's not here. I thought you went up there to get it. But no. This is not the case. So let's, let's try going up this way. Maybe there's something this way. No, can't go through here. Looks like you should be able to go through there. This island looks very suspicious. Oh wait, there's, there's a spot over there. Maybe you can only see it from the island. Yeah, there you go. Just making sure. Is the signal location constantly moving? Yes. At least as far as I can tell. Okay, well that didn't lead me to anything particularly good. Let's try this one. So what's in here? Nothing. Have I, have I already been here? I might have already been here. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, NES games were not very good at multi-directional scrolling, and thus, many did not have it. <laughs> North 20, East 11. Anyway, East. Wait, I can't go that way yet. Oh, there it is. North 5, East 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. And now, the subsea is finally used as a submarine. It only took us most of the game to get to this point. So rare dungeon with different music. Because it's not really a dungeon. Don't really get the purpose. Alright, so, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I'm going to stop here, we save this for a part three, but we're getting close to the end. I'd say two more parts, most, it depends on how much trouble I end up having. If I, like, okay, assuming best conditions... Assuming that I am able to get through the dungeons with literally no trouble, which is unreasonable. 
it could be beaten in one more stream, but realistically, probably two. But I'm going to end it here because it's two hours. I think that's good. I'll see you later.